every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. So. In today's video, I'm not sure what we're going to make out of this whole video, but I did just want to sit down and talk to you guys because I just I just want to talk to you guys. I feel like we haven't talked. So honestly, there's just been a lot going on lately. Last week, I got into a car accident and everybody was okay, but it was my first car accident, so I was shook for sure, to say the least. And as of now, a week later... There has still been no movement and I'm just kind of bummed out about it because my car, my poor baby, took some damage. So I am just waiting on that and I just feel like overall I have just been just not motivated, you know. And one thing about me is I do not want to get on camera and not give you guys 100% because y'all deserve that. Y'all deserve that because you picked me to watch out of everybody else so i really really appreciate that and i would never want to give y'all less than my 100 percent energy on the videos and i feel like whenever you don't have the energy you can also feel feel it and kind of see and peep it through the video so um i just my motivation has just not been there and it just sucks because it's like you know you're not motivated and you want to do something about it but it feels like it feels so forceful to get up and do something. I don't know. I just, I just been in a rut. I just, I don't know. I just haven't been motivated. And then with the situation about my car, I feel like I have a lot of content ideas outside of my place. So it's like, what am I gonna film? What am I gonna film here? I don't want you guys to get tired of me talking and just, you know, just us being here i know some people don't mind but i also like to switch it up as you guys can tell y'all know i just did that cooking video so i definitely i always like to put out new content and new ideas and i have a lot of ideas outside outside of where i live so it's like ugh, it just uh it kind it just bums me out really it really bums me out it really does because it's also a lot of a lot of stress and a lot of time that you have to put into what happened like I have to put in a lot of time into um, my insurance, getting a hold of her insurance, telling my it's just a lot of back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, I just want this done today. You know what I mean? But it's not like that. I get it. But it's just, ugh, it's just annoying. It's just annoying because it puts things back for me that I couldn't have foreseen. So it's just, it's just annoying. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm trying my best. I'm trying, trying. Honestly, it took everything out of me to upload that cooking video because I was just not, like, my, I just, I just, I'm just not feeling it. I, like I said, I'm just not motivated. And it sucks because I wish I could get myself out of my head. Like, oh, it just, it's, it's annoying. So, as you guys know, before that, I was dropping a lot of videos. Like, I think, I think in one week I was dropping a video every, every other day. And that was great for me whenever i get a spark of motivation i use it i really really use it because i know i'm gonna run out of the motivation so that's why i took advantage of when i felt that way because here we are now and i'm just 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 stuck i feel but the only thing i can do is make the best out of it and come up with some content here i do have some exciting content coming up i can't say too much because i don't know who's watching but i do have some exciting content coming up so we will get some 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 cool content coming up so i'm not i'm not too bummed out because i know good things are coming so i'm excited for that If you like it, tell me if you like it now. 
Overflowing. All right, you guys, as you can see for the bathroom, it's not much to be done, but we will just tidy up in here. Cleaning y'all, so do not judge. We talk street art, sarcasm. All right, y'all. Now we are gonna do some quality time together and some much needed love for my makeup brushes y'all i'm not even gonna tell y'all when the last time i brushed them i mean <clears throat> i'm not gonna tell y'all the last time i cleaned them but just know it's been a minute this is probably why i'm breaking out but maybe not no matter what the reason these need to be cleaned asap because this is just unacceptable so i'm gonna stop procrastinating i'm glad i picked up the camera that way you guys motivate me to clean so we got a little station ready as you guys can see we got the makeup brushes i'm probably not gonna do all of them um 
but most of them. We got the makeup brush remover thing you guys will see. We have the lovely Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna put it in there and a big towel so the brushes can dry. Now I will say the brushes will take one to two days to dry so do this on a weekend or on a day that you don't need your makeup brushes. Just a heads up. I'm gonna start by turning on the water. I'm gonna let it get hot. Put some Dawn dish soap and you can always add more but this is what I'm gonna start out with for now. And let's get to work because this is gonna be time consuming. So what I like to do is kind of dip my brush into the Dawn dish soap and go from there. And then this will do the main job. It just depends on which one you wanna use. I like to use all of them. I kind of just move the brush everywhere. So. It's kind of therapeutic to be honest. And yes, this this will get dirty and if you need to stop for it to kind of clear out because you don't want to keep washing this and then you just scrambling filth around. Give it a break, keep going. Be mindful of your weak brushes because I'm not gonna lie, in this process a brush or two may break. I'm just letting y'all know, giving y'all a heads up because it's happened to you before. But hey. If that happens, then who cares? That just gives you a reason to go buy more brushes. Am I right? And look at that. Look at how beautiful that looks already. I don't know if you guys saw a good before, but it did not look like that before we started. That's the power of Dawn dish soap. But you don't have to use Dawn dish soap. You can also use another a soap of your choosing. Whatever you feel works. Hey, make sure you get the size because you do get a little bit there. If you need to get more soap, get more soap. Now there's a, there's some, some brushes that even though you will clean them good and you won't see any more residue coming out, then that just means it's just stained, I guess. Look at how pretty it looks already. This is a foundation brush I have. Beautiful. Now it looks to me that this is ready. I'm gonna squeeze squeeze the water out that way it dries quicker you want to do this that way it dries quicker you don't have to wait five days for it to dry i'm going to do this one next this one's oh y'all see that all right so dip it in there don't be scared we got enough soap don't worry go crazy go crazy Crash humor in high fashion Peach color moon glisses the plot thickens As we laugh off with shotguns and tongue kisses What about you for daring? Would you rather a cold flame? The thrill of no shame Drug, sex, and Polaroid Pick a star in the sky We could both say goodbye all night I wish I could paint I'm love guys i am finally done that was pretty quick i wish i had done this sooner but now we are just gonna let these dry the next morning all right y'all it is the next day i just woke up about to make some breakfast so i don't want to take you guys along with me i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go too into detail i'm just gonna go with the flow speed it up y'all know yeah, here's something that's a dishwasher. Forgot a look last night. Ooh, do I even have enough eggs? Oh, just enough eggs. Three eggs. Okay. Okay. I'll work with that. I'll work with these little tomatoes I got in here. Tomatoes. Tomatoes.
Alright y'all, so I'm here at TJ Maxx. I'm just looking at suitcases. I'm probably just gonna borrow one, but I did just wanna look because eventually I wanna get one, but I don't know why suitcases are so expensive. I remember back in junior high, we used to be obsessed with these bags while I wasn't, but I know all the girls, they love these bags. Look at this cute Hello Kitty bag for $15. Oh no, that's too much. I found these really cute ear, or earrings I guess. But so you put it in the hole right there and then kind of tuck it by your earlobe. These are really, really cute. If you guys ever want to get real techniques, just come here instead. That way you don't have to spend real technique money. Seven dollars. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. How much is it? How much is it? I don't want this so bad. How much is it, y'all? What's the price? What's the budget? What's Three hundred dollars? Uh uh, y'all got me. Up. That's crazy. That's wild. Nah, that's crazy. All right, y'all. I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because I'm never gonna find it again if I don't get it now. So I might as well get it. Might as well get it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. I was literally sitting there looking at it for thirty minutes. <clears throat> no joke. The worst part about this is I'm gonna still look around the rest of the store. I'm just bad. I'm bad. This mirror is $300. On the Impressions Vanity website, it's $400. So, plus tax. So, don't judge me, girl. Yoda! You're selling this for $200. That's pretty good. Wow. Storage space. What's the difference between a scrub daddy? Sponge versus a scrub daddy sponge that looks like the ball with the face. I don't know. Oh, y'all just got some pizza from Mod's Pizza. I know y'all gonna judge me for this, but yes, I love corn on my pizza. Don't knock it till you try it. Oh, Ooh. baby, so sexy. Oh my god, y'all, I cannot wait. Like, no, this needs a bite ASAP. Mmm, you're so sexy. And it's fresh. Look at the cheese. Ooh, the cheese. Mm. Yes. Oh, I don't even have a drink. I'm about to go home. I'm sorry, but I don't know how people put barbecue sauce on their pizza or chicken on their pizza. I don't like. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Leave that to the taco or the chicken tenders. Like, mm -mm, nope. Funny enough, y'all. I actually used to work at Mod's Pizza. Unless you don't have another option, do not work there. Do not work there. I, I'm saying, I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you. I used to work at this one specific location. Obviously, it's, well, not obviously, but it's not this location. And after I quit, I ordered a pizza from there, that location. And I will not forget this. I got my pizza. It all looked good bro i left with the box of pizza and went somewhere else arrived to my destination and then i decided to eat a bite when i tell y'all i'm not being dramatic i swear i'm not being dramatic when i bit into that pizza and tried to swallow it y'all it was so salty you ever had something that was too salty you can't eat that it's just nasty too much salt is nasty bro i don't know what the they put on that pizza but it was too much salt i could taste the salt it was like it was like they dumped the whole the whole thing of salt into the pizza it was so nasty and i didn't even request pizza to be added to the to the pizza so i don't know why there was even salt in the in the pizza it was so nasty when i tell y'all I, I spit up the pizza and threw the whole box away because that's just malicious that's just evil and i know they knew it was me because Obviously, when you order through mods, you have to put your information. I guess I should have put fake name or whatever, whatever. I guess I didn't, I didn't think that through. But after that, never again. Never, ever again. I never go back to that location. That's one thing that you have to keep in mind. If you go work somewhere where you like the food, keep in mind that you're never going to be able to eat at that location. Keep that in mind. So, keep that. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all.